Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the connecting rod assembly on an air compressor. The connecting rod assembly is made up of the connecting rod and piston, a composite piston ring, and a chrome plated cylinder. On an oilless air compressor like this, over time, the piston ring and the chrome plating on the cylinder will wear out. When this happens, the compressor will no longer build pressure like it should. Replacing a connecting rod assembly is easy to do, and we're going to show you how. Connecting rod assemblies, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website at ereplacementparts.com. Let's get started. Before we remove any parts, we want to drain the air out of the tank, because some of these parts are under pressure. So I'll go ahead and open the drain on the tank and let all that air pressure out. We'll get started by removing the manifold cover. Next, we'll remove the two screws that secure the pump to the tank. Now I'll just slide the pump assembly to the side and lift it away from the tank. Now I'll remove the two screws that secure the top handle to the pump. There are three screws that secure the two halves of the pump cover. I'll remove those screws and then I can pull the back half of the cover away. Now I'll remove the two filled wires, this one and one on the other side, as well as the ground wire. It's a good idea to make note of the color and location of each of these wires so you can refer to it when you reassemble. I'll use a couple pair of needle nose pliers to pull this connection apart. A flat bladed screwdriver for the ground connection. Now I'll rotate the pump out of the housing so I have access to the second field connection. And again I'll use my pliers to pull that connection apart. With the wire connections removed, now I can pull the pump away from the housing. Now that I have the pump assembly removed from the rest of the compressor, the next step is to remove the head bolts. Now that I have the head and the valve plate removed, I can go ahead and remove the bolt that connects the connecting rod. I'll use a screwdriver to bind up the pulley so the motor doesn't spin. Now I can pull the connecting rod assembly away from the rest of the compressor. Now we can install our new connecting rod assembly. You'll notice on one side of the rod, it says this side out and that side should go away from the motor. I'll insert the connecting rod assembly through the pump. Now re-secure the connecting rod with the bolt. And again I'll use a screwdriver to bind up the pulley. Thank you. 
Now I can begin reassembling the pump assembly. First I'll place the cylinder gasket against the valve plate. I want the side with the five valves to go against the piston. I'll place that next. Now the head gasket, and if either of these gaskets are damaged, be sure to replace them. And now the cylinder head. Let's take my time and get everything lined up. And now I'll torque the head bolts to between 49 and 55 inch pounds. I'll torque the head bolts in a crossing pattern. Now we can place the pump back into the housing. I'll slide it in just far enough so we can make our first wire connection to the field. That's the white wire. Now I'll continue to slide the pump into the housing, lining up these feet with the grooves in the housing. wires through and now I can connect the yellow wire to its field connection and now I'll re-secure the ground wire connection With the pump wires reattached, now we can replace the rear housing cover and secure it with the screws. Now we can install the handle to the top of the pump and secure it with the screws. Now I'll place the pump back onto the isolator feet and slide it back. Now I'll replace the screws that secure the pump. And finish up by replacing the manifold cover. And that's all it takes to replace the connecting rod assembly on an air compressor. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.